All right, what is going on, you two? Welcome back, Majestic here. Um, sorry if I'm a little sweaty. I just got in. I've been playing Pokemon Go all fucking day, um, and I love that game. I did a review on that, guys. I'll leave it in the description in this video. Um, but anyway, I've been gone, so I haven't really been checking my Twitter and things like that. Um, but I got a couple of messages today and a couple of things telling me, hey, you know, we saw your review of Overwatch. Um, did you hear about the new hero coming, Anna? And I was like, no, I did not, you know. And they're like, do a reaction to it, do a reaction to it, you know, talk about it, whatever. I was like, okay. So I just now got in. I set my car keys around my neck. Um, it's been a long night, guys. Like I said, I've been playing the hell out of Pokemon Go. It's shit's addicting. I highly recommend everybody get it. I did a review on it. Once again, you guys check it out. Also did a review on Overwatch, which I'll leave in the description below as well. That you guys can check all these games out or whatever. Check out my content. So anyway, we got a new character named Anna. I have not seen anything about this character yet. I have the video pulled up. There's two videos that Overwatch um, play Overwatch is uploaded. The first one is Anna introducing her as a character. And the second one is her origin story. Now, I'm not going to really review her origin story because I'm just not, I don't, I'll do that on my own time. I'm sure you guys don't really care. Um, but we, I want to see her. I want to see her in action. That's why I'm here. I want to see how this chick plays, right? So, let's go ahead and play the video. Let's take a look at it. I love that map. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Damn. Uh oh. Is there anything else? Her origin story. Okay. Um, Anna might be a little, little OP. She might even be in the the god tier section of characters. Now let's go ahead and explain some of the shit I saw. First thing I saw is she can heal. She can heal allies with her shots. So she can shoot an ally. I'm guessing some kind of like healing dart, kind of like Zenyatta throws the harmony orb and heal her teammates from a distance which that's pretty cool i like that i think that's really cool as an attacker there's not a lot of attackers who can heal teammates well i don't know we don't know if she's defender attacker or what widowmaker is a defender so and she's a sniper it would make sense for anna to be a defender but anyway there's not a lot of attackers who can heal people soldier 76 can heal i know he can drop that thing down the hills a team um but that's it. It's the only attacker I think that can actually heal people. Now there's healers who heal people like Zenyatta, Mercy, you know, whatever. But I don't think there's not a lot of attackers or even defenders who heal people. So I think that's kind of cool. And she can do it at a distance. You know, you don't have to be right on somebody's ass to get healed, which is cool. I think that's really cool. Second thing I noticed, she threw something at uh, Roadhog. I don't know if it was kind of like the the Discord orb that um, Zenyatta throws, where it does damage over time. But Tracer basically bought him. She threw that orb on him. I guess it gave. Uh, it made him weak. And she threw her ultimate and killed him. Whatever. And it was because it was pretty far away and it still did a lot of damage. So we know that she can heal from a distance and she also has the ability to damage people, like throw something on them, kind of like a poison or whatever that hurts them. So we did see that at the beginning. Another thing that we saw that I noticed was, of course, the ally boost. She gave it to Reinhardt. Reinhardt's fucking one shotting people. That's a little op overpowered. Even for, like, even Mercy's damage boof boost, I don't even think Reinhardt one shots people. Now, I could be wrong once that I haven't played Reinhardt with a damage boost with Mercy, so I don't know if it one shots people, but I mean, it looked fucking strong. I mean, she threw that shit on him and he was, he was clearing out that whole objective. I mean, he, I think he got like a quadruple. So, of course, her sniper is pretty strong. It's a pretty good ranged weapon. I don't know if it changes forms like Widowmaker. Like, Widowmaker's turns from like a sniper into like a machine gun. So, I don't know if Anna's does that. But it possibly could. Um, but uh, <laughs> but that was cool. And then fucking McCree comes out with fucking High Noon. She turns around and puts his ass to sleep. 
And it looks like he was asleep for a while, and she comes up and then shoots him in the face. So I'm guessing that's our ultimate, maybe, to put people to sleep. Now, my only question is, like I said, this is just a simple one-minute trailer. We didn't get a lot. We did see some of her abilities, so we know kind of what she does. As far as her ultimate, the only thing I don't know is it a wide range. Is it like a wide range attack? Can you put multiple people to sleep instead of just one? Because if that's the case, then that's going to set up opportunities for a lot of setups with characters. For instance, Reaper's got Death Blossom. You put them all to sleep. You have a whole team there. Death Blossom, team kill. Wipe out an objective. Same thing with Farah. You set up, you know, the sleeper or whatever. Put all the teams to sleep or everybody to sleep. Farah comes in with Missile Barrage. Boom. There's the whole fucking team. So I don't know if it is one target or if it's multiple targets. Either way, if it's multiple, that's going to be fucking awesome. So far, I think she looks good. Now, I did notice a little thing about her parents. Once again, I have not watched her origin, origin story, so I don't know much about her. But just from looking at this picture right here, she's over Farah, So I'm guessing it's her mother. Not only does she have the tattoo on her eye that gives it away, Farah has the tattoos too. They're kind of the same ethnicity. Ethnicity. I can't fucking talk today. Whatever. Race. Um, we'll be we'll be simple race, um, which is kind of like you know whatever they are. So it, I'm guessing that's her mother because they do talk about Anna, you know, along during conversations. Her uh, when Farrah talks to Mercy, she mentions Anna. When she talks to Soldier Seventy Six, she mentions uh, Anna or whatever because Soldier Seventy Six protected Farrah or whatever during that war in the um, Overwatch short. So we can pretty much assume just by looking at it, kind of looking at how she plays and things, that it is Farrah's mom. Now, as far as the character, I like her. I think she's pretty cool. I think she's very fucking overpowered, and I'm sure she'll get a nerf, but uh, at least I hope on console versions. But so far, I think she looks really cool. I, I think it's going to be a really good introduction for Overwatch. I wish there was more about her. Maybe we can get maybe they'll update her or something, and maybe there's a beta of her during you know some of the leagues and esports and shit going on. Maybe we get to see a little bit of her and see how she plays more. Because one minute we don't really know how she plays. I mean, we kind of get an idea. But I want to see more. I want to see if that's really her alt or if that's just an ability and maybe her alt's something fucking crazy. Um, you know, because most alts are wide range attacks. Like, even Bastion turns into a tank can take out multiple enemies. Death Blossom. Widowmaker has recon vision that pulls up everybody on the map. You know, everybody's alt usually takes out multiple people. You know, unless it's some kind of, or even healers. You know, Resurrection takes up everybody Everybody. Zenyatta heals everybody. You know, fucking Symmetra sets up a portal that takes everybody everywhere. It's always multiple targets or it has something to do with multiple people. It's not really a single base person. So it really makes me think if the sleepy thing's actually her ultimate and can it attack multiple people. Or maybe she gets the gun, has the darts in it, she can shoot multiple people. I don't know. I'm just throwing out theories we don't know. There's not really much about her. But I think she looks good. I really think she is a cool looking character. She kind of looks like an assassin. She's got like the robes on. And, you know, she just looks sick as hell. You know, you can tell she's been through some shit. She's missing an eye. So I'm sure her origin story will cover that. Probably got shot or something. Um, but so far, I think Anna is really good. She looks great. I want to see more of her, guys. I really do. Um, but please leave it, leave it in the comment section what you guys think. You know, do you like her? You think she's a little overpowered? You know, um... You guys gonna play her? What kind of class is she? We don't know. Is she a defender? Is she a you know? Is she an attacker? Is she a healer? You know, because there's some and people are like, why would she be a healer? Well, I mean, fucking Symmetra's a healer and she throws shields. She doesn't really heal anybody, you know. So I, I mean, I, like Soldier Seventy Six does more healing than Symmetra. So I don't know what class she is. But please leave in the comment section what you guys think. But this is my live reaction to the lovely Anna. And I'll be back with more Overwatch news, hopefully, or more reactions and things like that. And I'll be playing a lot more of it. Also, I will leave my review on Overwatch in the description. You guys can check it out. Anyway, my name is Majestic. I'll see you guys for a video very soon. Peace.